the country is in mourning after the death of Private Sean Rooney in Lebanon. Joining us with the latest on this and the morning's other big stories are Lauren Boland, reporter with the Journal.ie and Barry White, chief reporter with Barrett Media Audio. Thank you both so much for joining us this morning. Um, and of course, the headlines dominated this morning, Lauren, with that one tragic story. It's very sad news and I think their communities and the whole country are really in mourning um, today. Um, it's... It's, it's such a tragic event and I think, you know, there, it's, it's difficult to, I guess, as we see the investigations play out now and we'll learn more and more details. I mean, even this morning in the papers, there are more details about the incident itself and, you know, how the route the convoy was travelling and the events that led up to the injuries and to the fatality. Um, and I think, you know, as the investigation plays out, it is going to be so difficult, I think, to see more and more of those details. Mm. Um, we know they're going, it's going to be a big investigation. There's yeah. going to be multiple parties involved between the Irish authorities, the United Nations, Lebanon. Um, so, so really a difficult time for yeah. everyone. Um, so we have three separate investigations that are going to be uh, taking place, of course, as, as uh, mentioned, we have one from the, the Irish authorities, the Lebanese and um, the UN as well. But um, what, can, what do we know now about the actual route? They, they, they deviated from the route, Barry, did they? Is that what seems to have happened? Yeah, they so got separated they, from the convoy. They got vehicle. separated from the convoy and went down the road that they were not meant to go down. And they came to, into an area where there were people watching the Morocco-France game. Uh, apparently there's been a bit of animosity between locals and the UN recently so they surrounded one of the vehicles and then it's understood they attacked one of the vehicles and someone had a firearm and started shooting at the vehicle. I think they tried to escape but uh, they didn't manage to escape and uh, unfortunately young Sean Rooney was was the fatality here but even just reading the papers today you know reading an interview with his girlfriend and reading about him as a person it's just very sad. 24 years of age, gone out with his girlfriend for three years, they were due to get married next year um, and like a lot of Irish families as well, he had a he came from a family that had a kind of a history in the Irish army. His dad served in the army. He had a, a great uncle served in the army. He had two other uncles who were still working uh, in in Dundalk in the army. So, you know, like many Irish families, and there was three hundred and thirty three uh, based in Lebanon. Went over there just three weeks ago, and mm. I suppose it's the first time in over twenty years that an Irish soldier has been killed in Lebanon. So it could have been any one of those three hundred and thirty three people. So anybody with a a family member or a friend in the Irish Army is probably looking at this in shock. I think, God, it could have been, it could have been anyone over there. Yeah, I remember I was in Lebanon myself reporting a few, uh, well, it's a good few years ago, it's about 10 or 15 years ago now. But it's um, it's amazing, it's such a beautiful place when you see it, but then when you, you, you kind of look around and there's fencing, there's places um, that are still cordoned off because of the, it's been mined. I mean, it's so precarious over there and so dangerous, even though it has been uh, so long since we've lost a, an Irish soldier in Lebanon. But um, that there's more... Um, News as well, Simon Coveney has uh, been speaking about this, our Minister for Foreign Affairs. Um, we don't exactly know what happened. As I said, the inquiries are, are going to be ongoing now. But um, Hezbollah, of course, have denied uh, their involvement. But um, I know that uh, uh, our Minister is not having anything to, to much positive to say about that as of yet. He's going to wait till the, the outcome of the inquiries. Yes, that was Mr. Simon Coveney's nest yesterday. That it, it's more of a wait and see approach, really. That he's not going to take anything at face value. Um, and you're absolutely right in terms of the, I suppose, the, the depth and the gravity of how this will be felt over there um, among among the soldiers, among I suppose probably the wider peacekeeping mission as well. And um, that was the message yesterday from the press office at the Defence Forces that they were going to be doing as much as they could to support those soldiers who are still over there and their families who are here as well. I think there's been liaison officers appointed to um, the families here of those uh, eight personnel that were in the convoy to try and offer them whatever support that they can. And of course, we have to uh, think of the family of Shane Carney as well, who's is still in a, a, in a very serious condition in the hospital because um, uh, the corpsman is, is, is uh, we have to all think of his thoughts and prayers, of course, for his family as well, because um, I know there's two more wounded as well. But I mean, when you think of what, what's gone on, what's happened out there, there's uh, families in mourning and there's families really worried as well this morning. Yeah, Shane Carney, seriously injured, but in a stable condition. So hopefully... He pulls through. Um, a large crowd turned out for a vigil last night. Friends, family, ex-members of the Defence Forces to uh, obviously pay their respects to, to Sean Rooney and also pray that uh, that Shane Carney pulls through and obviously everybody wants to see him pull through. Yeah, I suppose we'll have to wait and see the outcome of these investigations now. At the moment, it just seems like a, a just a, a tragic, tragic 
uh, eventuality that should never have happened. Um, they're saying that it could be to do with a weak GPS system, the investigation to why they veered, of course, but I'm sure that um, over the coming days and weeks we'll find out exactly what happened. Of course, our deepest consult condolences to the families of all involved. It's such an unspeakable tragedy.